I'm going to show you the close coupled method for connecting the 141 to the 300 power drive. Before that, what I do want to show you is how to set this to the proper size. It's important to do this before you have it mounted to the machine because if not, it gets uh, extremely difficult being that it's so close to the uh, power drive. So first things first, uh, you have your cam plate here and it has these two knobs that are spring loaded. On uh, one side of it, you have one, two, three, four sizes, and then the fifth one is for changing dies, which is covered in a different portion of the uh, video. But there's a hole associated with each size. So you can grab this, pull the knobs out, and move it to whatever size you're going to thread. In this case, we're going to do four inch, so make sure that one of the adjustment knobs lines up to the four inch mark. The second thing you have to do is adjust, adjust it for depth. And Right here on this uh, guide post, you have three lines. You can only see two of them here, but what they say is, for example, in the middle is a standard line, which is the one we're going to work with, and then you have the top one that says two turns under and the bottom one that says two turns over. Okay? So what you do is you grab it by the work holder, hold it with one hand, and you spin this back until you back that up to the appropriate line. Okay? And usually what I do is... I'll bring it past it and then turn this just until that line is exposed. Okay, there you have that set. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the 844 drive bar. Okay, the 844 drive bar has two set screws in the front. And this is a square drive. Okay, so that matches this part right here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to install that like so and you're going to use an Allen wrench and bring these up evenly. Okay, don't tighten one and then come and tighten the other because it could create a wobbling situation. So tighten that one and tighten that one and you're good to go. In this portion of the video we're going to show you how to mount the 141 to the 300 power drive. First thing you need to do is slide these two uh, support arms back. You have a collet here that has an eighth inch set screw. So grab your Allen wrench, loosen up the set screw, and slide this back until you hear it click. Okay? You do the same thing for the one on the back side. Loosen up your screw and slide it back till it clicks. Make sure that your chuck in the front is completely open and that your centering device in the back is completely open. This will make it easier for you to slide the drive bar through the uh, spindle. Okay? Now, as you're doing this, make sure that you align these grooves with the jaws. So insert that in place. It doesn't have to go in all the way. You chuck that up. And tighten your centering device in the back. Now, once everything is there, make sure that all three jaws in the back are touching the drive bar and that everything is aligned correctly in the front. Okay? Now, what you do is you install your loop. What the loop does is it keeps the uh, 141 stable under high torque conditions. Okay, so you slide that in place, put your screw in place, and then you take your support arm and you slide that through. And at this point, tighten your set screw to ensure that that support arm doesn't come out from the loop. So we are now ready to install the pipe into the 141. The first thing you want to make sure of is that your centering jaws in the back are completely open and that your clamp screw, which there'll be other videos on this, is completely backed out as well. Okay. Once you have correctly cut and reamed your pipe, go ahead and grab your pipe and install it into the 141 gently until it stops. You don't want to chip any teeth on the dies have an ordinary level here and I'm not really worried about leveling the machine. What I want to make sure of is that the pipe is in line with what the machine is doing. Okay? So right here I can see that my bubble is uh, slightly to the right. So when I put it on the pipe, I want to make sure that it is doing the same thing. So I'll adjust this back a little bit. right about there. 
So now we're good to go. Okay? The next thing we're going to do is make sure that the throat of the dies is, is touching the end of the pipe. So if you look right between here, which again, there'll be other video on this, you want to slide this forward and make sure that the throat of the dies are hitting or touching the end of the pipe. At this point, you have this tool that comes with the 141. So you're going to stick it in one of the holes and you're going to tighten this. Okay? And uh, then you're going to go ahead and manually bring up your clamp screw until it stops. And then with this part of the wrench, you're going to put that on the clamp screw and tighten it, you know, good and snug. You don't want to over tighten it because you can crush the pipe. As you see here, it's created a gap once it's centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up again to support it and recheck everything to make sure that it's going to work out okay. So once again, it's just to the right a little bit. So I'm going to put my pipe there. All right. There we go. Okay, so now we're ready to thread. Everything has been set, and I have my oiler here. I'm going to turn on the machine. Uh, the switch is in the forward position, okay? And I'm going to make sure to oil everything, okay? Proper oiling is very important so you don't wear out your dies. Uh, when this gets towards the end, what's going to happen is you're going to see uh, on this drive shaft here where it spells stop, there's going to be an arrow and then there's going to be a line. The top of the die head is going to stop at that line. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now we're at that mark where it says stop, and at this point what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in reverse and break the chips off. So you put that in reverse, tap the foot switch. Okay, it's important to understand you don't want to run this in reverse to take the uh, pipe completely off of the die head because you can ruin your dies, you can break the teeth on it, and so forth. All you want to do is run it in reverse enough for you to break the chip off. At that point, then we will uh, we'll take the pipe and, and I'll show you how to remove the pipe from the die head. So the first thing we have to do is loosen this screw. Okay, don't have to take it completely off. Then we loosen our work holder. Okay, and in the front here, we're going to take the dies past our mark. In other words, we set it on 4 inch because this is 4 inch pipe. We're going to try and open it or set it towards where it says change dies. It's never going to get there because of this plug. But what it does is it backs the dies out enough for you to remove the uh, pipe from it without ruining the threads. So we'll pull on both of the knobs and loosen that like that. And now what we'll do is we'll slide this back. And there you have your threaded pipe. In this portion of the video, we're going to thread manually with the 141. The setup remains the same. So as far as mounting the pipe on your tri-stand and mounting the 141 to the pipe, everything I showed you in the previous videos remain the same, setting up the die head as well. Okay, so everything has already been done. Now, instead of using a power drive, what we're going to use is the D1440 ratchet. This has a square drive that matches the square drive on the 141 and the 161 as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that on there and we will start ratcheting this. Now this usually does take a little bit of time. It'll take anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes to do this and also you have to oil. Um, but the thing about it is that it's actually easier to thread with this than it is to thread 2 inch pipe because of the 7 to 1 gear reduction that you have. 
So just be patient. In some cases where there can be no sparks or anything like that, this is what you have to do. Okay, so as you can see, we've completed our, our thread. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this over. And we're going to back this off until I break those chips off. Okay, there you have it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my wrench here and I'm going to loosen the die head as well. And I'm going to loosen the pin screw and the work holder. And we're going to slide this off carefully so that we don't ruin our threads and put it on the ground.